I got about a halfway to my truck when it blew. Yeah. Oh, you okay? Yeah. okay? That's the last thing I remember. Right? I woke up and I, I remember looking to where the fire was and there was nothing there. It was, it was gone. In just seconds, on April 17, 2013, the small town of West was forever changed. A fire led to an explosion at the fertilizer plant that killed 15 people and flattened parts of the city. Nine of those who died were first responders for the West EMS and West Fire Department. The memories of that day are still very fresh, but especially for those who were heading toward the blaze. Fire Chief George Norris was one of them. He said, we need all we got because it was a bad fire, so that's when I decided I would go ahead and take one of the trucks out myself. Norris lost five of his guys in the blast, and he wasn't alone. They were very special to us, and we will never forget them. Dr. George Smith is the medical director for West EMS and for the nursing home. He was evacuating residents from the home when the blast happened. The ceiling tile, the air conditioning, ducks, the lights, and the roof all fell in on me. I knew the fertilizer plant was on fire and I knew something must have blown up there. I had no idea what. He lost four EMTs that day. Chief North says everyone is still coping. It's hard. Yeah. Both men say burying their fallen brothers was the hardest of it all. Well, it's, well, we, we, every time we come to the station, we see the pictures, and we, we've got, got pictures inside, and we got a lot of uh, items that have been brought to us. And it just, it's, uh, it's, it, it's hard. To add to the heartbreak, the explosion destroyed the entire West EMS building. Both departments also lost emergency vehicles and equipment. An ambulance cost us about $150,000, and that's a base ambulance. That's no equipment, no stretchers. We lost uh, one, one tanker, one large grass rig, and one engine. There's no doubt it was tough, but almost seven months later, the departments are making progress. A new EMS building is under construction in the same place it once stood. In the meantime, they're working out of a construction trailer near the fire station. Dr. Smith says it'll be a huge relief once it's finished. We're a big family. This is where we can meet in this building. We come in here and we play cards, we drink coffee. The morale of West EMS is gonna be much better when we get back in this building. The fire department is pushing forward too. They've added five new faces to their station. Chief Norris says they were flooded with people wanting to become volunteer firefighters in the weeks after. Thanks to donations and help from the community and strangers, some vehicles have been replaced at both departments. There's been an overwhelming amount of support that's displayed outside the fire station. Chief Norris says it's all humbling. There's a statue out on the corner of the building here that was brought I don't know where it came from or anything, but somebody just brought it. Everybody's, you know, helps everybody. I mean, we just, that's, that's the kind of community we are. Looking ahead, the fire department has stepped up training even more than before. EMS is trying to raise money for new training mannequins and work supplies. We're told a memorial for the lives lost is planned near the blast site. But even after everything they've been through, Dr. Smith says it could have been worse. We're very blessed in West. We were expecting 60 to 70 fatalities. We're coming back, we will never forget, but the closer we can get to normal, the better. Reporting in West Texas, Gina Martinez, News West 9.